Rogoff was awarded the Deutsche Bank Prize in Financial Economics. So we are so lucky to have him. He's also the former economist, chief economist at the International Monetary Fund, Harvard University professor, here to talk about currency wars. The world is a very different place. The dollar is stronger. So what does the currency war look like in 2011? Well, it's still the case that a lot of emerging markets are growing a lot faster than the United States. We're growing normally. You know, they had a V-shaped recovery. Their central banks are still keeping down their exchange rates, still uh, holding interest rates down, and they're getting a lot of inflation, and they'll blame it on the United States, I suppose. What about the blame on China? Well, I mean, th this is part of the larger global imbalances question that Raghu Rajan and I are going to talk about today that still hasn't been settled and they need to think about if we're not going to have a financial crisis again. But it's, of course, not just about China. It's not just about the exchange rate. It's much broader about trade imbalances. How serious does it get? Is there a risk of a trade war? I, I mean, I think that's the kind of thing to worry about. We have really gaping inequality, and you could say that at any time, but it's, you know, it's like it was at the beginning of the 1900s, not just in the United States, China, most parts of the world. And that sometimes leads to social problems, and trade wars are something that it spills out into. It's very self-destructive, but I think the risk of that is greater than at any time in the last few decades. How does the inflation threat for emerging markets, the record food costs, how does that play into it? Well, that's a piece of social instability, too. We saw that in the extreme in Egypt. It was clearly a contributing factor. But the pressure on inflation also pushes the inequality buttons in these emerging markets and puts pressures. So I think it's a manageable problem, but I don't see it without significant appreciation of many emerging market currencies. You've done a lot of work on the history of financial crises. Europe has its own internal currency battle that it's dealing with. Uh, what's your take on that for 2011? Well, it'd certainly be better if they had a few different currencies in Europe right now because clearly some of them need to depreciate and some of them need to appreciate. But, you know, it's a mess. I mean, they're still sorting it out. And uh, I think these things tend to take years to play out. So I don't think this is just about 2011. It's the next few years. G20 next week. What's the big story? Is it the global imbalances? Do we come out better or worse? I hard, it's hard to see a single thing in the G20 dominating the way it has the past couple of times, but certainly they'll try to talk about the global imbalances and financial regulation. All right, Deirdre, Harvard professor Ken Rogoff here at the Council on Foreign Relations talking global imbalances, inequalities, food inflation, all of the challenges facing global leaders at G20 next week and throughout 2011.